welcome back to microbial concepts today we are going to discuss about difference between actinomyces and fungi or actinomycetes and fungi okay so many a times few students they get confused depending on the structure of the given organism okay because the structure of actinomycetes and fungi it resembles okay but there are certain um, key points or there are some ways or techniques that you can use to differentiate between actinomycetes and fungi okay means in case of your practical exams if you find this uh, confusing that how to differentiate between actinomycetes and fungi then this video is for you all okay and i hope you will enjoy it you will learn and you will be able to differentiate the colony depending on its appearance first okay because i will be showing you the difference today okay so the first i would like to make a point here that actinomycetes is a group of gram positive bacteria whereas only actinomyces is the genus okay both are same it is actinobacteria it is also called actinobacteria okay but the group is actinomycetes and the genus is actinomyces okay so what is the difference so this is a comparative table that i had made actinomycetes are a group of bacteria that are gram positive okay in case of fungi we don't perform gram staining right uh, but we do lactophenol staining and even you can do monochrome staining to know the structure of fungi okay so actinomycetes is eubacteria and fungi or fungi is eukaryote okay and fungi it can be unicellular multicellular okay and it is widely known for its decomposing and growing on organic matter characteristics that means they are saprophytic correct so that is the difference actinomycetes are actually uh, they are also saprophytic but they are widely found in soil okay and yeah then the third point is actinomycetes are non motile and fungi are mostly non motile this is because uh, we are overall comparing the kingdom fungi here okay so there you also can uh, consider yeast right unicellular and multicellular like other fungi okay so that's why it is written mostly they are non motile then actinomycetes its cell wall its cell wall contains peptidoglycan whereas the cell wall of fungi is made up of chitin okay then the organelles are not membrane bound in case of actinomycetes in case of fungi or fungi the organelles are membrane bound okay then this is a very important point here the colony of actinomycetes on uh, media plate you will find that it forms a powdery structure okay and it sticks firmly to the agar and they are slow growers okay and in case of fungi it has fuzzy cottony appearance but are fast growers as compared to actinomycetes okay so even in say 24 hours you will get fungal colony growing up to 1 or 1.5 cm okay they are so fast growers but in case of actinomycetes you need 48 hours minimum you need 48 hours to get a colony of 0.5 cm okay the colonies of actinomycetes are not big in size as compared to fungi okay then actinomycetes they reproduce as vegetative with conidiospores okay means they form spores okay and on dispersal and on and on having uh, correct conditions favorable conditions that spore will germinate and will give rise to another actinomycetes colony okay in case of fungi there are different uh, ways that means sexual and asexual depending on the class of the 
culture or sorry class of the fungi okay whether it is zygomycetes it is actinomycetes oh, sorry uh, zygomycetes or ascomycetes basidiomycetes okay depending on that then in case of uh, actinomycetes in some cases it is said that the gc content in dna is high and even in fungi you can find in some examples the gc content is high okay so this is the common point i have written because i cannot uh, be specific with example here okay so mostly the gc content which is found in both actinomycetes and fungi is in most of the examples it is high okay so now okay so here we will see some images and i hope this is helpful for you all so first we will see about fungi or fungi both the pronunciations are correct okay so here is this is the image of uh, different fungi growing on a fruit papaya okay so you can see there are almost four types of colonies one two three and four okay so this white color i had actually uh, captured this photograph for this particular video because this colony is actually showing you the difference okay or it will help you to understand the difference between actinomycetes and the fun fungi colony okay so you can see it is very soft it is cottony right spongy appearance it is having that spongy appearance you can easily lift this colony with a wire loop okay just you can uh, pick this colony okay yeah so you will not find any difficulty lifting this fungal colony but in case of actinomycetes which is a bacteria okay u bacteria okay uh, actinomycetes grows grow as colonies that resemble the mycelia of fungi okay you will not see that or you will not find this difference on plate but when you do microscopy you can find or you will see that there are two types of hyphae substrate and aerial okay so the substrate mycelia will um, help the colony to grow help the organism to grow by getting the nutrients okay and the aerial uh, hyphae is actually for uh, vegetative reproduction because uh, after some times the colony will start producing spores and once it has that point uh, or it covers that time the spores will just uh, help for reproduction and once they land on to a appropriate um, environment they land in appropriate environment where soil sorry where food and nutrient nutrients are present then that particular spore can again emerge into a new colony of actinomycetes okay so that is why you will find same aerial and substrate mycelia in actinomycetes as well okay so here you can see that the colony is very firmly attached to the media okay or we can see we can say that it is half embedded into the media okay you will find very difficult to um, just pick this actinomycetes colony with wire loop you cannot do that you need to at least scrape one colony you need to scrape one colony okay or you need to cut a piece small piece of colony okay and agar correct so the margin piece you can cut and you can lift that and use it further for your isolation okay so this is about colony appearance and next is using your wire loop while uh, picking up the colony okay then so i had discussed two point for two points first was the appearance okay and second was using wire loop you can just if you are able to easily lift the colony then it is not actinomycetes okay it is fungi
and if you find very difficult to lift that colony then it is actinomycetes third is depending on the time taken to uh, grow okay so fungi they grow hardly uh, sorry they go grow in minimum of say 24 hours but actinomycetes you will hardly find colonies in first 18 to 20 hours they need proper 48 hours incubation to have uh, to have visual colonies okay so that is the difference number 3 then fourth i will tell you is smell okay yeah so you must have uh, heard of geosmin i guess during your practicals okay so that is the smell of rain that is what we call correct so geosmin is a chemical which is produced by actinomycetes and when first rain happens when that rain water gets mixed up with the dry soil this geosmin gets activated and that is what or that is the chemical that we actually smell okay so many times we say it as uh, smell of rain okay but it is actually the product of or a chemical which is uh, produced by actinomycetes okay so even on having uh, isolation you can just smell your plate okay and if you find that earthy smell or uh, that's you can recognize that smell of rain then you are having actinomycetes growing on your plate okay and then you can proceed further for the isolation and identification okay so these are simple four tricks to remember and to use while you are doing your practicals okay so this is a simple uh, life cycle i can say for a actinomycetes okay so there is a free spore okay now this spore will germinate okay and it will first start with or it will first form substrate mycelia okay and now this substrate mycelia will help that colony to grow further okay so this substrate mycelia will grow deep and deep to get access for nutrients and water and upon some time when the nutrients are um, say lost from the media the aerial mycelia will get reduced okay or you can see uh, aerial mycelia okay so now there are not no, there are no spores on aerial mycelia but the substrate mycelia is getting programmed cell death as there are no nutrients okay so this is what is the food for aerial mycelia okay and the uh, these substrate mycelia they are used as food and during this stage there is also spore development happening okay on aerial mycelia okay so this is how actinomycetes colony grow okay and these are spores which get transferred and depending on their conditions or where they land if the conditions are favorable again this life cycle repeats okay so this was about actinomycetes right so again one point here that um, the spore arrangement in case of actinomycetes is very different okay uh, you, if you study properly you will find that the fungal spore arrangement and actinomycetes spore arrangement is completely different okay so don't get confused between actinomycetes and fungi it is very easy to isolate them and to study them okay even in case of microscopy you will not have problem or you should not have problem after watching this video okay so i hope this is what yeah we are done so i hope this video is helpful for you all and still if you have some doubts then you can comment in comment box or you can reach me out on my gmail id that is also mentioned in comment box okay sorry description box and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook by the same handle that is Microbial Concept. Okay, so all the best and keep learning.
enjoy okay